How's it going everybody and welcome back for some more Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last part, we got the Ruby from um, uh, the Mount Ember Pathway thingamajigger after uh, not reading Braille. And in this part, we're going to go, we're uh, back here on one island and we're going to go give it back to Celio to see what that's going to do to help us out. Oh, that's, and the Ruby to Celio. Helio Celio. That's the proper name, clearly. Thank you. Oh, look, now it's in the computer. I don't know if it's in the computer or else it's just a red light saying that it is, I don't know. May I ask one more giant favor? I guess. When I was studying gemstones, gemstones, I discovered something important. There's another gem that forms a pair with this ruby. I wonder what it is. That other gemstone is supposed to be in the Sevi Islands. Gold, please, I need you to go find the other gem. May I have your fairy pass and town map? Okay. Mm Rainbow pass and an extra page for the town map. Yeah, you know what that means. Get to all Sevi Islands. Yes, we can go to all seven of the Sevi Islands, as I kind of hinted to in the last part. There are, shocker, seven. So with that, let's go to the first of them, since we've been to one, two, and three. And it's naturally, we are going to go to four island. All right, high s seagull hop, high speed six, whatever it's called. I don't even, I don't even know what it's called. I, I always like skip, skim through it. Oh, look who's here. Hey, Gold, what are you doing here in Sevi Islands? Well, you should quit copying me, you know? I already got my Pokemon eggs, so I'm done with this island, huh? Bet you don't even know about Pokemon eggs. You never fill your national decks that way. Pokedex, rather. By the way, I saw someone we both know on this island. Why don't we go look around and see if it makes you curious? I thought you just told me to leave. Be smelling ya! That's so weird. Why is that your catchphrase? And here's something... Uh, new. We, we saw the daycare uh, center originally. Uh, south of Cerulean. This is another daycare center, but instead of them just, they, uh, just take one Pokemon, they can take two Pokemon. Oh, fine then. Come again. Oh, don't have to be so stuffy about it. Yeah, they, uh, they can take two Pokemon, and that is how you breed. Breeding is a very extensive way of, uh, getting certain Pokemon the way you want it. Um, now I'm not gonna get in, uh, get all into it. What do we got here? But, um, what do you have to say? Giggle, I collected collected a ton of stickers. Wish I could show them off. Oh, excellent, you come to the right place. These are my stickers. Look how many I got. I bet you want some. I bet you do. I'll give you a sticker if you can tell me something awesome about yourself. What you brag about? Well, the Hall of Fame. Of course. That's pretty good. Yep, I'll give you one of these. Hall of, sticker, Hall of Fame sticker was applied to the po trainer card. So yeah, I can speak there. That's, uh, stickers are kind of just a little bonus feature. Lorelei's house! What is this creepy girl doing? Please don't tell Lorelei. Do you know Lorelei has lots and lots of stuffed dolls? Well, let's go in her house and check it out. Yeah, but as I was saying, um, oh god, I didn't know Lorelai was an 11-year-old girl, not that I would know anything about 11-year-old girls, I should stop talking now because I don't. Uh, oh, I'm in Lorelai's bed, whoop, oh, oh, should probably get out of there, it's probably nasty. Uh, yeah, breeding, as I was saying, uh, is an extensive way of getting po uh, your Pokemon the way you want them to be. Hold on one second, because I'm gonna go get some repels. Now, I didn't really need them, because there's actually a Pokemon I'm gonna catch simply for, uh, the fact that it's one of my favorites. Probably my second favorite Pokemon of all time is in this cave. Uh, come over here, you find Stardust. That sells nicely. As I was saying, breeding! I keep dodging that, uh, topic. You basically inherit, inherit moves from the male Pokemon and the species from the female Pokemon. So, for example, say you breed... I don't know. Let's skip forward a few generations. Say you breed a Glaceon with a, a male Glaceon with a female Luxray. Let's say the male Glaceon knows Ice Fang. Luxray, the baby Luxray now can now knows Ice Fang. It is an egg move. Look up on Bulbapedia for all that stuff. Bulbapedia, Bulbapedia is a fantastic, fantastic guide for all this kind of stuff. And let's see what this fatty's doing. Ooh, chili! I made a slushy using ice I shaved inside the Icefall Cave. Dude, that's nasty. Alright, and welcome to Icefall Cave, another dungeon. Now, um, I would go ahead and spray for repel, uh, spray repel in here, but there's actually a Pokemon I want to catch for, uh, nostalgia value. Yeah, I didn't actually go and catch a Golduck, which is actually my favorite Pokemon. Don't ask me why, it was one of the Pokemon that I loved using in Pokemon Stadium, and I used it in my red and blue. Now this, we're introduced to this, I'm gonna show you guys this. Walk over at once, crack the ice! Oh, this might be our Pokemon right now. No. Anyway. And, um, if you step on it again, you fall through the ice, zoom, and you're down there. The only way to go up is go through the ladder, and you're back up here. Actually put us forward a little bit. Now, let's go get this item. We're gonna have to fall down again. 
what we're actually shooting for is to get up there. We're getting a nice uh, HM in here that I'm probably going to teach to a slave because it's not too great of a move. Uh, let's, let's just walk. Let's be careful. Uh, could this be it? Is this it? Is this it? Swinub. Swinub is a... Well, Swinub, I guess I can talk about this a little bit. Swinub is our first Johto Pokemon coming from... Uh, Hailing from gold and silver. Yeah. It is a nice ground type. It sucks at this point. If uh, It has a really good evolution later in later generations. But, uh, yeah. Wait. Wrong one! Dang it. I don't know why I just don't make it... Is, could this be it? Yeah! It's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Sneasel. It's a dark ice type. It's a kind of strange type, seeing as though ice is... Please don't kill him. That's pr I'm probably gonna kill him. Aww. But anyway, there's Sneasel. You saw him. I was gonna catch him, but at this point, I don't really care. You saw Sneasel, though. Sneasel's a fantastic Pokemon. Well, he's not- he's- I don't know, Sneasel had- Sneasel's one of my favorites, I guess I should say. He's probably my second favorite Pokemon. First being Golduck. Second being Misdreavious, probably. Oh, I just screwed myself over, didn't I? Wait, no, no, I did the right thing. Yeah, because you gotta come here. I believe this is the right ice you wanna break? Yeah, it's kinda just a maze. You gotta land, and then you gotta do this godforsaken ice puzzle. Never melt ice. I hate ice puzzles like... You guys don't even... I think I just screwed myself. Yeah, but I think you had to in order to get that never melt ice. Which is a hold item that boosts ice type moves. Um... Huh... What? A, what? Did I just mess myself up again? This kind of puzzle was around in the uh, ice cave thingy in uh, Gold and Silver, and it took... I'd play it... I remember playing this uh, cave thing uh, before I went to school some mornings, and... Uh, what am I doing? It pretty much gave me hell every morning before I went to school, and I could, it took me like a week to do it, I think, but granted, I think I was like seven. Am I even... I don't even think I'm going down the right one. Let's try going down the other one. Maybe that's just the one you're supposed to do to, for Never Melt Ice. I hate ice dungeons more than anything on the planet. This looks more correct. It. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh crap. I wanted to get that item before I went. Let's grab it. Let's grab it. Full restore. That's all. That's it. All right. And here we are. Came here for HM07 Waterfall, basically. Out of battle. It's actually... Uh, later generations you'll find that it's a physical attack rather than a, a special attack, which works for some Pokemon that are strangely water-type but have physical attack. Um, and that'll help us get through the waterfall area up there. So, um, real quick, I'm gonna probably go grab a slave to use this, because I do not want to teach it to Blastoise, although I think he's the only one that can. And I mean, either way, I'm not teaching it to anyone else, so be right back with a waterfall slave. Alright, I actually went ahead and taught it to a tentacle I caught when getting a 60 Pokemon. Because, uh, I wasn't going to teach it to Roshi. It's a worse move than, uh, a Surf. And it's more of a slave move, like Cut, Flash, Rock Smash, you know, the works. Oh! Let's see if this is a Sneasel that I can try and catch. Seal! You know, I'm kind of asking for it, having Diababa out in an ice area. But you know what? I'm a rebel. Lorelei! Keep your filthy hands off the Pokemon in this cave. Do as I say or you have to or you'll have me to answer to. Aw oh, shut it, lady, and leave us be. Don't let your glasses get all steamed up. Don't make fun of people with glasses. Hey. Gold, what are you doing here? No, we can catch up later. Right now I need your help. Ah, uh, okay. Poachers. You take that one, please. <laughs> I like how she just turns. What? Who says we can't do what we want with the Pokemon we catch? Hey, you know. Democratic rights, I guess. That's, uh... That's what, that's, uh, you know, you should be entitled to. Like, I have a Diababa, and I taught a Drill Peck. I don't know if that really... Or no, he learned... No. I just defeated my whole thing there. I taught it Fly. That'd be better. I taught it a Hidden Machine move. Okay. Of course, I'm, why should I be worried about Ice-type Pokemon when all we got is to deal with is Zubats, for crying out loud. Hey, Zubat! You're blind! Ooh, what are you gonna do about that? What are you gonna do, faint? Yes. 
And gold bad, yeah. As if let's just get more and more attractive here with our Pokemon look. And I'm constantly using Tri Attack. Makes me wonder how uh there's some weird Pokemon that can learn Tri Attack, like Porygon? Strange. Learn Tri Attack when you have three heads. We didn't plan on this. Well I'd hope not. It's gonna go well let's go in the ice hall cave, you know, let's steal a bunch of Pokemon, let's find Lorelei and let's have some kid beat us. That sounds like a good plan. Humph, so despicably weak. You, tell me, where have you taken the captured Pokemon? I'm smashing your ring once and for all? Is that supposed to be some kind of cheesy, like, catchphrase, action phrase? I'm smashing your ring once and for all. No way, I'm not telling you that. If you won't confess, we'll deep freeze you. My Lapras is furious for what you've done to its friends. Go Lapras, Ice Beam. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're gonna freeze him? That's kind of terrible. Okay, I'll talk. The Pokemon are on, are in the Rocket Warehouse on Five Island. There, I said it. But I doubt you'll ever make it into the Rocket Warehouse. Hee 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 Let's just leave. The one guy, like, got stopped and he waited. He must be, like, the loser guy who falls around because he's, like, a, a third wheel. It's like the two guys are driving him and he's only around him to fix their computers or something. Gold, thank you, but this is awful. I was born and raised here on three of these islands. I had no idea what those horrible criminals were loose here. Now, uh, you might notice that she did say Lapras and her fr friends. There's a 1% chance you can find a Lapras, a wild Lapras, in this water if you surf around for a while. So, I mean, I'm not going to do it because I already have a Lapras in my computer and I'm not using it. So if you want to get a Lapras, or if you missed it and you'd like to get a Lapras, by all means, have fun f surfing for hours. Oh my god. Anyway, with that, we are just about done the ice... We are actually 100% done the Icefall Cave here. Uh-huh. That's pretty much all I wanted to do in this part. I'm glad we got it done. I'm glad we're getting, like, one dungeon done per uh, episode. You know that weird guy who's eating snow from in there? Dude, do you know how much gold that crap is going to be all up in that snow? That snow was probably yellow from the piss of swineubs, and you're sitting there eating it. He's like, this is a good slushy. It's lemon flavored. No, sorry, sir. You are horribly mistaken. But anyway, uh... That's about it for this part. I'm gonna go hide behind the Pokemart. That reminds me, you know, have you ever played Animal Crossing and like the po er, the uh, animals are like hiding behind buildings and you just like and you're playing tag and you gotta like go behind the building like this and constantly push A until you find them because the buildings cover them up. Anyway, whatever. Um, that's all about about all for this part, and that was really random. Uh, in the next part, we're gonna, as he said, he gave us the whereabouts of the warehouse, the rocket warehouse. So we're gonna go take a good look there and see what's going on there, if we can get in or not. So yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and click subscribe, give me a good thumbs up rating, and check out my other videos for more videos like this one. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, this has been Golden Bolt, and I will see you guys next time.